Neptune, the distant icy blue giant swirling 4.3 billion kilometers away from Earth, has always been a planet of questions. Discovered in 1846 through mathematical prediction rather than direct observation, Neptune already set itself apart from its celestial siblings. And now, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has stepped into the spotlight with revelations that are shaking the foundation of what we thought we knew about this mysterious planet. Tyson, who was known for his grounded explanations and data-driven insights, has hinted at anomalies in Neptune's behavior and structure that defy all established models. So what exactly is going on? Let's rewind a bit. For centuries, scientists believed Neptune was just a colder, more distant version of Uranus, a gas giant composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, and a touch of methane, giving it that signature blue hue. But as missions like Voyager 2 flew past the ice giant in 1989, we started realizing Neptune was hiding secrets beneath its clouds. Voyager 2's flyby was our first and only close look at the planet, and what it discovered left astronomers scratching their heads. Unlike the sluggish, slow-moving Uranus, Neptune was energetic, with the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching 1,300 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound on Earth. It had massive, swirling storms like the Great Dark Spot, and its magnetic field was tilted wildly from its rotational axis, unlike any other planet. And most confusing of all, Neptune was emitting more energy than it received from the Sun. That fact alone suggested something strange was happening deep within the planet's core, a mechanism we still don't understand. Neil deGrasse Tyson recently reignited interest in Neptune during a podcast episode of Star Talk, where he referenced previously unreleased data from NASA's infrared and radio observatories. According to Tyson, the heat and radiation signatures of Neptune don't match current planetary models. In other words, Neptune is behaving like something it shouldn't be. He put it simply, either our models are wrong or Neptune is something else entirely. This wasn't just speculation. Tyson cited sources close to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and researchers analyzing Neptune's energy output. According to their findings, there's something beneath Neptune's clouds that is not only generating more heat, but could possibly be an entirely different form of matter or energy. Neil's comments struck a nerve. Almost immediately, speculation exploded online. Many were quick to draw connections between Tyson's remarks and the unusual silence from NASA and other space agencies regarding new Neptune missions. While Uranus has been prioritized for a flyby mission in the 2030s, Neptune, the more active and mysterious planet, has been largely ignored. Why? Let's look deeper. One of the key revelations Tyson hinted at involved gravity anomalies detected near Neptune's south pole. These anomalies, first noticed in the early 2000s via orbital perturbations of Neptune's moons, suggest that there might be something massive and dense under Neptune's surface, denser than anything we've found in any gas giant so far. Some scientists proposed a highly compacted core. Others whispered theories of exotic matter, something that could rewrite our understanding of planetary formation. But Neil took it one step further. He suggested that the anomalies might not be natural at all. In a follow-up discussion, Tyson floated the idea, cautiously and with scientific detachment, that Neptune's internal heat and gravitational behavior could point to an unnatural energy source. Let that sink in. Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the most respected astrophysicists alive, openly suggested Neptune may be harboring an artificial or unknown energy mechanism. He compared it to what we'd expect from a fusion reactor, or at the very least, a deeply active geological engine not powered by standard radioactive decay. Adding fuel to the fire, recent telescopic images taken with the James Webb telescope showed unexplained heat blues in the mid-infrared spectrum, localized flares that don't align with seasonal change, storm activity, or solar influx. What's causing these surges? No one knows. 
but Tyson noted that the flares appear to occur in a pattern, possibly on a timed cycle. Now here's where things get really strange. A retired JPL engineer, speaking anonymously in a recent interview, claimed that during Voyager 2's flyby of Neptune, there were unexpected radio bursts detected that were classified and removed from public datasets. These bursts, according to the engineer, carried structured patterns, not unlike encoded signals. Neo never confirmed this claim, but he did comment cryptically, if nature is speaking to us in ways that resemble intelligence, we have to ask if we're listening the right way. This begs the question, what exactly is inside Neptune that's causing this behavior? And more importantly, why does no one want to talk about it? In the third segment of his speech, Neil deGrasse Tyson laid out a chilling perspective. If Neptune is emitting artificial energy, or if it's housing forms of matter or technology that don't fit our current models, then that raises a bigger question. What else don't we know? Tyson stressed that this isn't about aliens or science fiction. It's about preparedness. Preparedness for a universe that may be far more complex, dynamic, and potentially inhabited than we've assumed. He pointed to the lack of exploration missions to Neptune as a kind of willful blindness. With all the resources poured into Mars or the Moon, the most dynamic planet in our solar system's outer edge remains virtually unvisited. And yet, it may hold the keys to understanding dark energy, exotic matter, or even the true nature of planetary consciousness, a concept that was once laughed out of astrophysics, but is now making subtle returns in scientific circles. What if Neptune is more than a planet? Tyson described it as a possible cosmic battery, a massive storage of energy that, if unlocked, could change human civilization overnight. It could be the missing link in understanding how gravity, time, and electromagnetism truly work. He even hinted that other space agencies, notably ones not part of NASA, may have already reached similar conclusions but are withholding public exploration for strategic reasons. And perhaps most haunting of all, he ended with a quote that echoed around the space science world. We have spent hundreds of years mapping the stars but we've barely scratched the skin of our own solar system. What if the real message, the real mystery, was sitting right under our nose, or rather, behind that deep blue haze of Neptune, silently waiting? So now we are left with more questions than answers. Is Neptune just another ice giant, or is it something else entirely? Has it been hiding a secret energy, an unknown core, or even messages we're not equipped to understand? And, most important of all, why has no one dared to go back? Neil deGrasse Tyson has cracked open a door that may change the course of planetary science, and the next mission to Neptune might just be the most important journey humanity ever takes because sometimes it's not what we see in the stars that changes us. It's what's been right in front of us the whole time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. The truth is out there, and we're only just 